Taurus. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. There's always an extended reading that I hope you'll join me for. And I attach the link right down below in the description box, or I'll also pin it to the top of the comment section. Or you can decide to join the Unbound membership to this, to this, uh, uh, to this YouTube channel. And um, then you'll get access to all of the extended readings, unlimited access for the life of your membership and all the channel perks. And there are a bunch of them. So check that out. Taurus, please remember to subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Taurus content comes out every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. So you guys don't miss it. And if you want to join me for daily tarot card readings, I'll attach a link above. I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation for you guys to join me daily on live chats. Um, oh, yeah. So you got a lot going on this week. Let me start out by summarizing the astrology. Venus is in Cancer, which is a comfortable enough position for her. She's very loving, very tender, extremely sensitive, extremely emotional. And by the end of this week, that's going to be double, tripled, quadrupled, but definitely tripled because Venus falls into a grand trine with the south node and Neptune, which gives almost a melancholy, but loving, gentle, very creative energy to you guys. Something else is happening that I think is even more formidable, which is why, which it reminded me of this card. And that is Venus is in opposition to Pluto. And what that means, Taurus, is a whole bunch of changes for you. A changes to your value system, what you value, um, what is beautiful to you, what's appealing to you, and maybe even who you're appealing, you are appealing to, and and how you value yourself. There is this tricky square to Chiron most of the week that is reminding you of those parts of yourself that you don't like and that maybe you've always had a problem with and that your lack of acceptance of them or your lack of ability to see some kind of value in them is also what is kind of teaching other people to not value them too. What's really beautiful though, is this breakthrough that comes after this new moon that we have going on today. Um, this beautiful and exciting sextile forms between Venus and Mars, which means it's an extraordinary time for you to actually do things differently with how you allow yourself to be loved and how you go about being loved. How love enters into your life, comes into your life and the different kind of qualities Qualities that you may be looking for and also but I want to bring this back to a real change a real complete turnaround in in how you allow yourself to be hopefully more respected and valued because you've learned the hard way you could be settling up different kinds of terms or or um, hardships or basically making peace with your past making peace with your past so that you can move on from where you are and not where you want to be. Really what's going on is you are getting a quality boost. People are starting to see that you have more value to you than maybe they've given you credit for. Now we have take time out, bear spirit. That's your first card. And this usually means that you're dealing with something that's pretty formidable. Maybe somebody who is a superior, you know, not superior to you in value, but just like an authority figure or um, a parent sometimes. This is sort of uh, like somebody who was very imposing. It doesn't mean that they were a bully, but they were very imposing. This could also be very protective energy because this is very shamanic energy and bear comes in to sort of scare the demons away and scare them out of you and, and um, uh, basically make you face your fears. And so you could come really face to face right now with something that has been absolutely terrifying you to strengthen you and make, make you its equal. We have the miracles are endless, and this is your energy. This is one of the most um, bountiful messages in this deck. It's about being respected and appreciated as what you are. Think of a cow 
In other words, it may be a different perspective that you need. Because here in America, cows are considered big, dumb, lethargic, lazy, and basically they're just food waiting to happen. That's how we treat them. In India, cows are holy. They are, they, not horses, but they are the steeds that the gods, when the gods decide to become human and come to earth, they are the steed of choice. They are who the gods ride upon. And so it's, it's cursed. It's unholy if you eat cow. So it really determines, it really is determined, like, like determine, I'm sorry, it really, um, is I'm losing the words. I'm sorry. It but it really depends. That's the word I'm looking for. It really depends on who is looking at you and how they view you because this is this is the energy of somebody that is viewing you as the most precious thing in the world and worth defending. And it could be a whole perspective that's changing where somebody is finally seeing your value, your worth, especially somebody who is an authority figure, making peace with the past. And then we have life is a mystery. And I'm going to dig into this card because that's interesting. You, well, I, what I do know is that you will not have seen this coming. You will not have seen this coming, but I can give you the timestamp according to the astrology. It's definitely after this new moon, sometime around Saturday, Sunday, that this shift happens in your value system. And definitely either you'll be defending something, but I honestly think for you guys, this is people defending you, sticking up for you. Because there's a sense of, I know what's right, even if it isn't clear. I know what the right thing to do is, even if I can't explain why I know it. There's a crow outside wanting to talk to me. Interesting. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. Who is this masked man? Poor woman, whoever it is. I just don't think you realize your value. Really. What else do you want to tell me with these cards? Nothing. Okay. What is this mystery? Please clarify. Please clarify this mystery. No, it's this deck. Taurus, please clarify this mystery. You might be changing jobs. You might be changing jobs. Eight of Swords suggests that somebody left you behind. Somebody has moved away from you and left you behind. But they're changing directions. And I think it's because maybe you finally got through to them. And it's that you never gave up. You were, you were consistent with your love of them, even though they sort of isolated from you and moved away from you, removed themselves from you, or somebody that you had to remove yourself from, they moved to a distance or at a distance, or they went in a different direction, but you continued to nurture or reach out or, or leave a, spl a space, build a space for caring. You continued to be very tenacious with this someone who decided to go a different way. Almost like I, I heard in my mind, prodigal son. Doesn't have to be a son or a daughter. It just means that it was kind of like they went wayward. They went astray. And they kind of made you feel abandoned. But in some ways, you are determined or were determined. Or there was some sort of determination to um, fix this. And this is not that you've done anything wrong, that you just didn't want to give up. Now, uh, life is a mystery. This, this bobcat energy of it's going to surprise you. Okay. I'm reaching for these cards. And two just fall right out. Um, adjustments are required. So yeah, the change, there are changes that have to be made. 
I'm not sure that your adjustments, though, luck is on your side. Somebody's finally willing to make changes. Okay. Somebody is finally willing to make changes. Why? Because of finally seeing the bigger picture. Having a new perspective or a fresh perspective on something has it opened, let's, let's not say changed somebody's mind, but it's opened somebody's mind. This person could be related to you. You, you know, this, this could be DNA, actual blood relation. This person could be an earth sign as well. This is usually Virgo. I don't know if you have a Virgo in your life like this, or this is just about your, the, the efforts that you've been putting in, what you have been trying, or basically what you have been establishing and the changes that you've been making and the work that you've been putting in is now yielding a beautiful result. It's come to fruition. Something has really um, paid off. Something has paid off. And I'm not saying that you were looking for payment, though if this is something about 11.11, this is something about your business, it, it could be that you were looking for payment. Something is finally paying off, Taurus. Luck is on your side. This is like, check out that big picture. The target is, it's impossible to miss. The arrow is going to land here. This is, what is this DNA card here for? Can you please clarify? You've changed. That's usually what it means, that this, that you, that somehow this change started a while ago. But I felt like this was some sort of relation. What is this DNA card? Please clarify. What is this DNA card? Please clarify. Um, maybe it's a result, a result like a test result or something that's coming through and or taking action on something, Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. Two younger men, two younger people. One that, that I don't know, somebody, somebody is very active. It could be two different people or one person. They're very, they're very aggressive. This is aggressive energy, you know, and, and it's sort of like just going after something, like taking off and, and going after something. Um, it's almost like saying this is in your blood or it could be about two different people. One is more strategic and one, one is led more by their passions. One is led more by their curiosity. The other is led more by their passions. Um, but they're, they are related. And if one left, It's like there's two people who think they're so different, but they're not. They wanted more value. Somebody felt left behind and left out and they wanted more value. And in some ways, I don't think that they realized what value they left behind. They were thinking too much of themselves and their you know, just whatever they were chasing instead of what they were leaving behind. There's somebody here is making a peace offering. Okay. <sighs> Barely scratching the surface. Let's continue. Taurus. Conflict and defeat. I think they finally, like, th this is a sense of they've hit rock bottom. Somebody's hit rock bottom. And it's when they've hit rock bottom that they finally realize. There are certain things, Taurus, that you can't teach people. And no, I don't think this is you. I honestly don't. I think this is somebody who you cared about. But you have to realize, and I think you did, and because, because there's such a clusterfuck of energy. This Mars conjunct um, Uranus is happening in Taurus, which is your first house. Maybe uh, what well, you're a Taurus, probably sun, moon or rising. But it doesn't mean that Taurus is your first house. So you'd have to check your natal chart. But um, 
all of this energy is still going to impact you because Mars conjunct uh, Uranus is a huge energy push to just make things change and force things to change or go after change at any cost. So this could describe somebody or behaviors that you thought were extremely kind of pretentious. Somebody's trying to force a change, right? And then that's in direct conflict to what was ready to happen or what made sense which is Mercury in Leo. So there was pushback. And then right in the center is Venus, which is your ruling dignitary in Cancer, a very comfortable position. And she's basically just sitting there, like in some ways, she's about family. She's about love and family and really wanting a family and, and to bring the family together. And like, why can't we just come together in some ways? And so what makes somebody aware of the value they left behind is they they suffer some huge disappointment. They kind of fall on flat on their face and then it's at rock bottom that they realize, holy shit, what have I done? So it, I hope this story meters, because this is a very specific, but what have they done? Holy shit, what have they done? Well, like, why did they do this? Why did they do this? Could have been because of a deceptive person, somebody who was masked, somebody who pretended to be something that they weren't. So why did they do this? Why? Okay. What have they learned from this? What have they learned from this? Um, what love isn't? And this could even lead to divorce in the future just becoming aware that somebody did not serve themselves up as something authentic and starting to become aware that they are not in a good spot and that that love has run dry and they don't care about this anymore or they don't want this anymore they don't want to fight for what they thought was so amazing and so important i want you to so yeah, this is a relation, somebody who is younger or at least shorter or smaller in stature than you. Um, they're very aggressive, very passionate. This could be like, like, yeah, this could be two people conflicting. One went one way, one went the other. One worked really hard. You have eight of swords. One was eight of swords. One was eight of pentacles. One was really prudent and really diligent. And the other wanted to sever all ties. And this is 888. Eight, eight. Oh, I just saw that. It's like one, one, wanted, one, one wanted to like sever ties and just go on their own and abandon or thought that, 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 that where they were coming from was, was wrong or ridiculous or like they just wanted to deny everything that they were. Then the other was just working really hard and really diligently. It's like the prodigal son and the son who stayed. That's kind of that's kind of the constant message that I'm getting. And then um, it's like the the one who fucked up is suddenly becoming aware. They're suddenly becoming aware that what they left behind was was it was stupid that they left it behind. They're starting to they're making a peace offering. There's some sort of peace offering coming in Taurus. Okay, I really don't know how to get much detail than this. Who is this masked person? What is this? Maybe that's what I should ask. Who is this masked person? Eagle. See from, so this is seeing from a higher perspective. Could be Capricorn energy. Um, somebody who is a leader or leadership and and this is definitely seeing from a higher perspective. Luck is on your side because you're starting to see things. You're starting to understand what, why this all happened. You're starting to get a, a larger perspective on what was going on, um, which sort of leaves room and space for things to heal. But who is this? What is this in central energy? What is Bobcat? Please, what is Bobcat? What is Bobcat? Um, everything you've ever wished for, everything you've ever wanted, but it's Bobcat is a mystery. So it's like, almost like somebody thought they had an idea of what they wanted in their head, 
but it was wrong. It was incorrect. It was false. It was, it led them to choose a path that kind of led them to bullshit. It's like one went one way, which was down, and the other went and saw, hey, I'm going to take a leadership role. I'm going to see things from uh, uh, just outside of myself, and, and there's a lot of abundance here. Um, appreciating, it's almost like somebody's finally appreciating that you're the one that stayed and took care of things. That you're the one that, that, um, so, or somebody starting to appreciate that side of you, that you're that person who is reliable and who is cares about, you know, uh, keeping up the household or making sure that everybody is solid or, you know, just, just cares about keeping that stability intact. Like they're starting to recognize and realize and, and appreciate appreciate that steadfastness of yours that you've created and built somebody's getting a opening their mind their mind is opening let's go to the extended reading because i want to dig deeper into how this is impacting every aspect of your life um please click the link below guys and i will see you over in the extended <laughs>